hi ladies it's ziva here welcome back to my channel now in today's video i've decided to do my video for a different demographic for a different audience i'm always doing videos for women who are more like-minded to me and today we are going to be speaking about the woman who is the former me who has the same kind of mind frame that i used to have the woman who is in a relationship to somebody who doesn't give them the respect that they deserve or a woman who's in a relationship and they are just genuinely unhappy for lots of different reasons get yourself a snack or something and let's get into this topic years ago ladies i used to be the type of person who would go above and beyond in my relationships i would find myself in relationships with men who did not find me of any value whatsoever apart from one who definitely you know treated me really well and had me on that pedestal or whatever but besides him I would always find myself in relationships with people who I liked more than they liked me I was more interested than they were interested in me I thought that they were more attractive than I was and I would always find that these types of guys would never fully make me happy. So those were the days when I used to date for looks. That was a big thing for me, how a guy looked. Even though m me, myself, I didn't do my little glow up, I was not making the most of myself i thought i was but i wasn't at the same time so it was kind of really weird where my mind was actually at and i didn't have much self-esteem um at the at that point in my life and i used to date people who i thought were better looking than me that's how i felt you know but i still used to get these kind of guys they used to approach me but nonetheless, I would always end up in a relationship with those kind of guys. The pretty boys, you know, the, they're the ones who I was dating before, you know, the muscles, you know, all of that. So that was kind of where my dating priorities were. So I used to be in these relationships. And when I was in these relationships, I would always feel happy up until a certain point and that point things would start shifting when i would internally be having a struggle with myself because i knew that i wasn't getting everything i needed from this person because i didn't have security with them i didn't feel secure i knew that there are other women out there that would want to date them and they would probably want to date women who look better than me um there was just so much stuff i had going on also i was in relationships as well with people who didn't have their finances together and you know it would be detrimental to our relationship as well not being able to do certain things or having to go or have some things or having to do this and that and not be treated as a woman that was something that i always wanted to have and when I was in certain relationships that was never a factor so there were just lots of contributing things to make me feel on a whole unhappy and just completely crap in my relationships and kind of within myself as well and I've spoken about some of the things that I went through in my relationships before one of my boyfriends was stealing from me I've been cheated on once. I did a story time on both of those things. So if you're interested in those, go to my story time playlist and you will see the, that those videos in there. And I was also with somebody who was more of a bad boy. He was my first bad boy that I ever dated. He ended up going to prison and okay, I, I was one of those. And the reason why I was one of those was because I can categorically say now I didn't feel like I could necessarily get anybody better and I would put myself or keep myself in these relationships minus the one who really really cared about me I'm not speaking about that one but the other ones 
I was always the one to break up with them. It took me a long time and it was really painful, you know, wow, wow, wow. But I ended up doing it in the end. Um, and the reason why is because deep down I knew that it wasn't for me. I knew that I wanted to be in the place where I was happy not just within myself but within the relationship that I choose to be in and these guys half asking things me liking more than they liked me was not good enough for me and I knew deep down that that was not for me that was not my path I kind of knew that even when I didn't love myself yet and I still was able to make those decisions those difficult decisions at the time one thing I've noticed is that there's always a point early on in a relationship. It can be when you're on your first date. I've experienced this. It can be when the person is first approaching you. It can be when you are on your second date or even on an initial phone call with them. And they will do, say, show some type of body language or facial expression. They will do something that you will feel uneasy about and it can be something so subtle i'm like with one of them i remember this this was on our first date and he did something where you know when sometimes you might be looking in the mirror as a woman and you're like you know your eyebrows kind of go up when you're like <laughs> trying to see you know how you're looking trying to make yourself look a bit cuter and i remember he actually did that face at me and i thought okay this guy thinks that he is so sexy and um but not just that it just seemed like hmm not in a good way it seemed like he was way too full of himself or something like over over overboard and I just remember feeling turned off for a split second and then the conversation kept on going um you know he paid for our meal we went to a Portuguese restaurant I remember he paid for our meal and you know blah 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 it was it was all it was all good besides that but that was the first sign of something that I didn't like that I felt uneasy about and throughout our relationship that feeling that thing that I felt uneasy about was an issue in our entire relationship another example somebody you're dating early on they might say something out of pocket or something that makes you feel uncomfortable or maybe even say something that's a little bit um like below the belt and make it into a joke i guarantee you they are showing you that right now you got to see a split second of it and it's going to come up and be a factor in your relationship this is not all the time obviously but for what i have realized is that you have to look into what people are showing you early on and throughout you know the time that you know them another thing that i want to you know really dig deep into is that at that time i was not putting effort into my looks i wasn't putting enough in i was doing things i was trying to look my best but i still wasn't um i don't think i really have any photos of me at that time because i didn't really like to take that many pictures because i wasn't really feeling myself so i don't really feel like i have many pictures um around that time if i find any then i will post some over here of when i was trying to do my makeup but it still wasn't you know it wasn't it wasn't any type of glam or anything at that time i was accepting things and tolerating things putting up with things because i did not feel the way that i'm supposed to feel about myself Self. I didn't feel beautiful. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel attractive. I didn't feel sexy. I didn't feel like a woman. I didn't feel any of those things. And it must have been oozing out of me. And these mosquito men picked up on it and just sucked everything out of me. And I feel like that is what happens in these relationships. Um, 
when you are with somebody and you are giving and giving you're giving you know and they are just taking and taking and taking the balance is off and it doesn't work out you're always going to feel that resentment as well so ladies i said all of that to say if you are in a relationship that is not serving you if you are dealing with somebody right now who is not fulfilling the wants the needs the desires that you have in your relationship that you want as a woman if they are not able to step up to the plate and give you what you want you're not supposed to be wasting your time your precious time and being in that relationship with that person you're supposed to remove yourself from that situation look better improve yourself improve yourself mentally improve your diction improve your lady charm improve you know your love for yourself and find a man who is better you're supposed to upgrade what you have and upgrade yourself and then have something better that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be staying stagnant. You're not supposed to be weak-minded and be a victim and stay in your relationship just solely because of the time that you feel like you've already invested in there and because you feel like you are too weak to pull away. No, your life and you are not going to crumble into a thousand pieces if you leave this man who is not giving you everything that you need and want. Which brings me on to my next point because when I was initially starting to date, I didn't have um, really any role models. I didn't see many good relationships. I didn't see many relationships to aspire to, positive relationships, you know, romantic relationships. I didn't see that growing up. And if I did see relationships and long lasting ones, they weren't ones that I would want for myself. So at the end of the day if right now you're in a relationship that's not good for you you're tearing your hair out every day you're going gray you know you're just stressed out about things about your relationship um you're not able to brag about your man you're not able to feel proud of him i would really urge you to watch my videos um I do have a self-improvement play playlist but also I have a dating playlist. I would urge you ladies to actually watch my playlist, watch my videos and just get some inspiration, um, get some other perspectives on dating and what your dating experiences could be if you stop putting yourself in negative ones, um, what your dating experiences could be if you made the most of yourself with your appearance started implementing um different makeup strategies changed up your hairstyle stop stop speaking street slang if you start doing that feminine voice control all of these things can be contributing factors to you having the dating experiences that you want to have so <laughs> all that waffling aside I am going to love you and leave you here. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far in the video, then comment below your experiences. Are you dating now for what benefits you? Are you beneficial dating or are you dating for detriment? It's the only way that other women can learn. You know, we can learn from each other's experiences. So it's nice to actually read other people's perspectives and stories. So on that note, I will see you in my next video. Oh, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching.